Hey everyone, welcome back to another anime making number of views. You can see by title below this is on episode 2 of Mob Psycho 100. And I'm going to be honest here, I actually, you know, I saw Mob Psycho 100. I was more excited because it was, a, you know, the people who made, of course, One Punch Man, which I loved. And it did look funny and I thought maybe, you know, I would really enjoy it. Now here's where things, you know, dive off. I at first didn't look at the tags and did not notice that it was actually, this is a slice of life. And now I don't have a problem with Slice of Life, so I watch a Slice of Life every now and then. Don't care for them as much as other things, but I still do enjoy them. And now that I know that this is a Slice of Life, at first, before, I was wondering maybe in a couple episodes, they'd be going on some main plot and storyline. Now that I know that Slice of Life, I can treat it like a Slice of Life and just enjoy. Obviously, the story, just like the narration said, the story of adolescence and pretty much, you know, mob spending his time working as assistant for 300 yen per hour like seriously the narration is always hilarious in this as well like just like it's like talking all about this and then oh here's mob <laughs> um but this episode it was pretty interesting to say the least pretty much um first part we get to see Regan does have something that he's good at guys um he's not just a total fraud at everything he may not be a you know exorcist or anything like that but damn he can give a good back massage man <laughs> That guy was just like full on like <laughs> and the other guy was like, oh, thank you. Can I come again? And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Why why, why try to become an exorcist? Why don't you just be, you know, make a massage power, a uh, par power, massage parlor and just have people come in for that. He probably makes so much money like that. He's obviously really good, but whatever. <laughs> um, obviously, this episode is pretty much all about mob trying to figure out you know what he wants in life and everything he doesn't really know he doesn't really know what to do he asks of course reagan a couple times reagan obviously doesn't want him to go join a club he wants to stay up with him and obviously keep working at his place not having anything to bother and you know stop him from going there one of the things that happens this one is of course of course tome and her telepathy club that needs another member it was pretty funny seeing them all running down trying to find people like you want to join you want to join slowly decaying into like zombies running down the hallway like what the hell is going on there and everyone just like uh no that's okay i have a job i have a job you know or, or i have study all these normal ones and then you got creepy you're creepy because it's creepy that's creepy that's creepy and even the other guys is like Man, after hearing everyone say that, like, I want to leave. Like, I'd be feeling the same way, like, full on. And I guess, obviously, at the end, we learn that, you know, Tomei really does believe in telepathy. But, obviously, the other guys are just there to have fun. You know, they got chips, they got soda, they got video games going on, cards going on. Hey, um, that's a pretty fun club, if I say so myself. How about instead of calling it the telepathy club, how about you make a new club and say, like, I don't know game enjoyment club or something like that i i don't know like maybe that would work you know um because like if someone was able to get a club as telepathy telepathy club i'm pretty sure you can get any club there that's pretty much how i see it so how about you change the name change the club maybe and then you can keep the club room and get more people because they're like oh yeah i'm down to play some you know card games i'm down to play some video games and stuff eat some snacks take some drinks have fun in the club room and stuff you know that's pretty cool but instead yeah, they're trying to go for the telepathy thing and no one wants that at all. Until, <laughs> my gosh, um, I did not expect the very ending. Um, <laughs> I thought he was really going to join the telepathy club and instead, I want to join you and it shows the body improvement club. And I'm just cracking up and I kind of get that he wants to look better, obviously. He wants to be stronger and more fit, obviously, because he wants his romance life. To oh, adolescence, man. That's right there. That's middle school, high school, man thinking about girls and everything that's that's right there i can i feel you mob i feel you but um pretty much this episode besides of course that happening with all that of course we also get to see can't unsee it the cross dressing of mob and reagan trying to get into the girls school to which mob does get in and it's funny just to see him how he reacts around the girls and all of a sudden here comes the monster and everything and he's a total badass and all of a sudden all the girls are like oh can i go home with you you want to walk together and all this kind of stuff and he's just like blushing and everything and it's just completely hilarious but overall this episode another funny hilarious episode with a total a bunch of total different things and a huge like like turn like i did not expect that little twist at the end when he joined the body improvement club because that was like it seemed like he was going to be joining the telepathy club like what's going to happen to them now they're 
their club is gone. It's done. They cannot get another member. It's just like, oh man. Another funny episode, I have to admit. I can't wait to see what we have in store for us in the next coming episodes. Because so far, I love the animation. I love the quirkiness of everything that's going on in this. I love the story. I love the comedy in, you know, our main character, Mob, and him going through his adolescence, trying to figure the right way and what to do, of course, while also being an esper. And, of course, trying to find love. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you, you know, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. It really does help the channel. And, yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So, until next time, see ya.